Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare another episode of DNA Saturday which is the weekly series here on my channel where subscribers send me in DNA bombs. That was the create class we're going to be using throughout the entirety of this gameplay. If you would like to go ahead and copy this create class, well you can! All you really need to do is go to the one shot game mode and use the zoomed class then bam you have the exact same create class we're using throughout the entirety of this gameplay. This was sent in by a guy that goes by the name of Nerpa which is a very very unique name and what we got going on here is a game of one shot team deathmatch and we're running around here on the map terrace and getting ourselves a very fast very nice dna bomb this is one of those ones where it's not really like oh so this is, was the strategy he was using throughout the gameplay this is just one of those amazing dna bombs where he hits all of his shots it's very very fast i think it's something along the lines of two minutes long something like that and it's just very it's one of those awesome gameplays that i just really enjoy watching i know you guys enjoy watching this kind of stuff as well and then you couple in the fact that it's using a sniper rifle and i know the sniper rifle dna bombs really seem to get a really good response as compared to some other stuff so hopefully everyone enjoys it man i thought it was really really cool and i wanted to give this guy nerpa a bit of a shout out because his channel is pretty nice and this gameplay is ridiculous like his aim throughout the entirety of this gameplay is stuff that just makes me envious because i don't know if it's because i'm getting older i don't know if it's because i'm playing more pc games and a controller just doesn't feel as natural to me all the time anymore but look at this jump shot right here like he's hitting everything and my aim is not nearly as good especially with a sniper rifle you see me with a sniper rifle it's embarrassing <laughs> all things considered it's pretty embarrassing but uh, i mean i'm pretty good aiming with other weapons but just not as good man not as good as this it's kind of it's kind of disheartening a little bit it's like man i need to get my i need to step up my game a little bit i need to get my aim a little bit better and start hitting some more shots he's hitting literally everything throughout the entirety of this gameplay so hopefully you guys will all sit back relax and enjoy that let's talk about the one shot game mode while we have a little bit of downtime here waiting for the dna bomb to actually go off and while you guys watch him just massacre everybody else let's talk about the one shot game mode how are you guys digging that because i thought it was a gimmick game mode i really thought that it would be a gimmick game mode that you know people would play a little bit for the first week then they're like, yeah, well, this is kind of gimmicky. But at the same time, it's something that they call it. Look at that shot. Good gosh. But it's one, of the, it's, one of, it's one of those game modes that people over the years have really been crying out for. Ever since, I'm going to say Modern Warfare 2, or maybe even all the way back to Call of Duty 4, people have always been asking for a sniper-only playlist, a sniper-only game mode. Now, granted, a lot of people making that making that plea were people that hated snipers. They wanted to like just take all the snipers and move them to a different area so they didn't have to face them. But at the exact same time, it's something that people have been wanting for years, and they finally end up adding it here into Advanced Warfare. Now, I would definitely be interested to see how many people are actually playing this brand new playlist. How many people are playing this new game mode? Because it's something, once again, that people have been wanting for years. We actually pick up the DNA bomb right there. People have been wanting it for a very, very long time. And I wanted to know what the player count is. How many people are actually playing it? And it's really kind of sad that Advanced Warfare is hiding the player count on that. I wish they wouldn't do that. I just want to see. It's all I want. It was, uh, I want to know the player count on certain game modes, especially the brand new ones like Gun Game. And I want to see how many people are playing Exo Zombies. I want to see how many people are playing the one shot game mode and stuff like that. It'd just be very interesting to know that kind of thing. But for whatever reason, they're hiding it. It's kind of sad. But here we go with the DNA bomb going off. He actually ends up uh, jump shotting a guy right before the DNA bomb ended up hitting. I thought it was pretty cool. And that was just a very fast, very nice overall DNA bomb with a final score of 45 and 1, which is. 45 kills you think of 45 kills in a team deathmatch and how hard that is to do then you cobble on the fact that it was in the one shot game mode and what's kind of neat about one shot and kind of interesting about watching one shot game mode gameplay is everyone on the opposing team has a sniper rifle if they were just to hard scope you I mean, that's one shot that's one kill it's not like they're trying to peg you across the map with an sn6 or something like that no they have a one shot sniper rifle the health is kind of diminished a little bit you don't really get hit markers in this game mode i know they're not supposed to have any hit markers but it is possible apparently to get hit markers but it's still man it's crazy at any given time he could have just been bam one shot you're done but he still he was the guy taking out all the people getting all the one shot kills getting 45 kills as well as the dna bomb so to you mr nerpa i gotta say that was a pretty awesome overall gameplay so i hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episodes of dna saturday and if you did please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel to be is theirs if you guys would like to submit your dna bombs for next week's episode of dna saturday well, watch the video it's on your screen right now everything you need to know about submitting yourself for dna saturday is in that video there's an annotation you can click as well as a link to it down in the video description be sure to check that out if you are at all interested in submitting your stuff for DNA Saturday. If you guys would like to go ahead and check out Mr. Nerpa, he's a first time guest here on my YouTube channel, which is definitely nice to see some brand new faces here. So it's nice to see the returning guests, you know, the people that we saw during Call of Duty Ghost with Chemstrike Saturday. It's nice to see some of those guys return. It's nice to see some returning guests here on DNA Saturday, but it's also really cool to see some brand new faces for you guys to check out. So over on his YouTube channel, which it's one of those Google Plus integrated channels that doesn't really have a URL, it's a bunch of ra random numbers and letters. So if you guys 
guys want to check him out, there's an annotation on your screen, as well as a link to his channel in the video description. But if you do go over to his YouTube channel, you're going to find Call of Duty and FIFA videos. He's a new channel. He's only been posting stuff for about a month or so, but he has some pretty nice channels, especially for a beginner. He does a lot of live commentaries with face cam, as well as he has some nice DNA bomb gameplays. He's a new channel. He's something you guys should check out. He's a brand new channel. If anything, you can go over there, watch some of his videos, and give him some feedback as to how his channel is going, because I know he's putting in a lot of work for his channel. He's uploading quite a bit. He's doing face cam and doing a lot of editing on his videos and stuff like that, so be sure to go ahead and check out his YouTube channel and give him some feedback as to what you think about his channel. Maybe even subscribe to it. If you guys like his stuff, you like, you like the kind of videos he makes, he's a very nice person. He's a very likable person, so if you guys really like his stuff, go ahead and feel free to subscribe to his stuff. I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episode of DNA Saturday, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.